Hello and usual, welcome to the Cartoon Catastrophe, where I give you all the facts, news, and crazy reviews. And today, we're going to continue the great and epic trilogy of the Kablam series. Now, last time we talked about something very rumored and now has been set in stone to be fictional. But, you know, now we're going to talk about something that's actually real and actually has proof of existence. So, today, we're going to talk about Kablam's Just Chillin'. Kablam has been a series that is coveted by many hardcore 90s Nick Nickelodeon fans. And there have been a lot of the episodes found, or segments, like the Action League Now or Race Rabbit stuff, but still there are some episodes that remain lost forever, only to exist on a lost media wiki page on the internet. But, today we're going to discuss the origin of it, um, the story, everything like that. So, of course, you know, Kablam, it never, it never even had an official home media release. No VHS, no DVD. The only time that you could have a Kablam episode was if you had a VHS for Rugrats entitled Tommy's Troubles. And it had the offbeats. But more likely it was because they were first promoting the show, or that they were already airing in between, you know, Nickelodeon commercial breaks. But, still, there was absolutely no home media release, even though it was popu popular enough not to be cancelled, as we talked about in episode 29, or the last episode of Lost Media Wiki. And, I mean, it's just kind of sad now. Because now, there's pretty much no way that we're going to get a home media release for Kablam. Because first off, Nickelodeon doesn't even own Kablam. It is owned by the original creators of the show, not them. So, we'd have to get a lot of we'd, you know, their permission. Then you have to, you know, find all the episodes. Make sure they all have copies. And it's crazy. And it's just kind of sad. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who want to see them. I want to see them. Because I've seen part of, um, like, the Henry and June segments, and it's fairly well animated. I like the art style. I think it's cool. But, yeah, so there's nothing really... There's no way we're really going to see them unless, through some deus ex machina, that we find them. I don't know how else we're going to find them. And, I mean, if you guys have VHSs at home that are recorded of stuff from the 90s, then I want you to pop in that VHS, if you even know what a VHS is, and, um, like, watch it and see if you can find anything. I mean, I know, probably not going to be you, but still, it's, the, the hunt, it, it is growing. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. But anyway, let's get into the plot of Just Chillin'. Just Chillin'. The unofficial series finale, as it was the last episode aired of the show, not to be confused with the elusive episode 29, aired on January 22nd, 2000. Though it might not have been the last episode made of the show, it was just the last episode to air. It was supposedly based around Henry and June feeling that their show was ending soon, so then trying to make it... Um, as adventurous and thrilling as they can give excitement to the viewers and be like, yeah, it's a big send-off. But, now this is the part that I think is actually pretty funny, and it's smart humor. Um, Mr. Stockdale, which I don't know who that is, and if I can't find a picture, I'll just put, like, an anonymous picture. One of the characters says that they have gone over budget. They're reduced to using not only no color and no animation, but also stick puppets in place of the characters. And there were also two other shorts which have been found. A Race Rabbit short and Action League Now. And that's pretty much all we know as far as the plot of the story. And the episode would have had an animated John Voight in disguise as Mr. Foot, of course. I know. I'll put up a picture of John Voight. The name sounds familiar. I'm sorry if I don't know who that is. And Mr. Foot, another... If I can't find picture... Uh, anom anonymous... See, so yeah, I would have had the final Action League Now and Race Rabbit, so, you know, that's interesting. But that's all there really is for the plot. And now we're going to talk about some of the rumors and other kind of extra tidbits about it. 
The episode would rerun again in 2001, but you know, that was its only other time to air. So that means the only way, there's only three possible ways that we can find this. If one, if we find the original, someone with the original airing, someone with the second airing, it has to be recorded, or if the creators release it. All of those are a very slim chance. But anyway, so, you know, it, it wouldn't be seen again after all, especially not on the internet and re-uploads. And the other hope for this, ever seen the light of day in, is possibly if it gets re-released. Re and this is... Uh, with the whole creator thing and Nickelodeon not only it, hopefully... Shout Factory, who they release a lot of older cartoons and a lot of older shows in general, maybe could really release this. There would, there would be a lot of legal stuff, but I mean, there's a there's a huge enough fan base. And the creator, uh, Mark Merrick, said that he has all of the episodes on beta tapes and plans to post them in full length on his website. It remains to be seen, however. But wow, hey. We got something. So it's either either Shout goes first or Mark Merrick. Come on. Get on get on it. Get on it. Come on. We want to see this stuff. Yeah. So we do have hope. Hope for Kablam. Well, I'm the Cartoon Catastrophe. I hope you enjoyed my ramblings about this. And I'll see you guys later later. And uh I'm also Wearing a jean jacket with jeans on. Jeanception.